Hello, everybody, and welcome. It's Monday night, which means we're going to have a good time, and we're going to have extra fun tonight because I'm Mark Mulligan, and being joined by my buddy all the way down from Tennessee, Mike Nash. It's going to be a fun night. Do me a huge favor as you're getting everybody getting logged in here. I want you to send a note to anybody you know who's watching the news right now. Tell them to turn it off and put on something fun. Hop on to Mike Nash's page, Facebook page, or hop on to my Facebook fan page and check out the show tonight. It's going to be a special one. We're thrilled to have Mike Nash here with Melissa. They just got to San Carlos, Sonora, Mexico last night. I want to thank Seaside Realty for helping to put on this show by giving us this beautiful stage with the Sia Cortez behind us and Rockstar Accommodations for Mike and Melissa for the entire week. Um, it's going to be a fun time. I'm going to start off with one song, and then we're going to get Mike Nash up here, and he's going to play you not only some stuff you can sing along to, but he's got a couple of new songs for you tonight that I can't wait to hear myself. So let's get you in the mood for Mike Nash joining me with a song that goes with that scenery right there. Got a constant craving, can't fight the urge. Try to kick the habit, but it keeps on getting worse. I've given up on rehab, it's far too late. This lifelong addiction is impossible to break. Give me some white sand, warm sun, and salty H2O. You know what, guys? This intervention's useless. It's out of my control. 12 steps from the ocean. Who needs 12 more? When you got white sand, warm sun, and salty H2O. White sand, warm sun, and salty H2O. childhood and that very first trip watching the waves rolling mesmerize this kid by the time they dragged me up the beach and shoved me in the car i knew no matter where i'd go i'd never get too far from white sand warm sun and salty h2o living by the sea is so good for the soul I pinch myself and wonder who could ask for more than white sand, warm sun, and salty H2O. Help me out at home. White sand, warm sun, and salty H2O. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, I've been playing this instrument for about 34 years just to become Mike Nash's opening act. I can now die a happy man. The winter and the snow Send me a postcard With pictures of the snow I'll look at it and shiver And just shake my head As I'm putting on my flip-flops And stepping out instead Into the white sand Warm sun And salty H2O You're addicted too, aren't you? So take all your sweaters, set them on fire. Slap on some sunscreen, put on some Kelly McGuire. Then turn around and run right to the place you ought to be. Get your butt into some beach chair down here with me in white sand, warm sun, and salty H2O, living by the sea is so good for the soul, I pinch myself and wonder, who could ask for more than white sand, warm sun, and salty H2O. There's no cure for this addiction. Every day I overdose. 
On white sand, warm sun and salty H2O. White sand, warm sun and salty H2O. everybody thank you for joining us those of you just tuned in gonna be a special night as we have all the way down from Tennessee my buddy Mike Nash joining us so let's welcome him everybody from your couch give him a big round of applause it's Mike Nash <laughs> hi Mike man it is good to be here welcome. I gotta tell you as uh, as you guys can see the background here we're, we're not suffering too bad today <laughs> well, welcome to Mexico. Thank you. It's good yeah. to be here. You just left Mexico a few days ago. It sounds like you turned around and ran. We did. We, we went up to the States and uh, played a show in Utah on Saturday and remembered how crazy everything is in the States, so we came back down to Mexico. <laughs> Wise move. Yeah. I did that 27 years ago, Mike, and I haven't left yet. <laughs> hey, tell you what, I know you got some new music for us. I do, as a matter of fact. Um, I wrote this one a few months ago, actually, and this is a brand new one. I'm going to be putting on the new album. It's a song about that bar. Now, when I say that bar, we all have that bar somewhere. It might be down here in Mexico, it might be in the Keys, it might be in the Convergent Islands or somewhere. Hell, it might be in Cleveland. I don't know. It could be anywhere. But we all have that one bar where you can go. Everybody knows your name. You got your own chair there. You can grab some drinks and sit and watch the world drift by. And mine, I had to come up with a, a, a create a name for it because if I... If I called it a certain bar that I play at or whatever, then uh, everybody else would get mad. So I just had to come up with a name. And what I came up with is Sticky Pete's Oysters and Half Shell Shack. Because it's fun to say when you're drunk. So. <laughs> There's a little shack off the beaten path. You can usually find me on any given night. It's the kind of place that's been around for years Where the oysters rock the fellas' spice just right There's old Coconut Joe and his Macarona Sitting in the corner smoking his pipe And the waitress carries married to the wife He plays guitar in the band every Friday night Sings, oh well, what the hell Ain't none of us will ever see a million bucks But we could sit down here, run a tab on beer Sometimes that's just enough Down at Sticky Pete's Oysters and Half Shell Shack Life sure don't shuck <laughs> Almost made Mark spit his drink up on that well, every Tuesday there's a line around the build For 50 cent oysters and half price draft But I just slide a 20 across the table to Jimmy Now he'll set me up with a bucket out back We watch the trade winds blowing in This week's return of those red-faced boomers With money to burn and the whole scene It looks like a grand jubilee my favorite chair on the back porch of peace Singing, oh well, what the hell Ain't none of us will ever see a million bucks But we can sit right here, run a tap on beer but Sometimes that's just enough Down in Sticky Pete's Oysters and Half Shell Shack Life sure don't show don't shut the day down here. Yeah, Saturday night's only five ninety nine for half a dozen beer and a line. They break them open quick as you eat. Mm, man, this is the life. Well, every now and then we all need a break, but life gets to getting too bad. A place you can sit and watch the world drift by Just off the beaten path Where there's always some room and an empty bar stool We'll 
say to a bear and a bucket. So get down here fast, we'll raise up our glass. And we'll tell them all to just shuck it. Shuck it! And oh, well, oh, what the hell? Ain't none of us will ever see a million bucks. But we can sit down here, run a tab on beer and man. Sometimes that's just enough. So remember when the going gets tough. Look down at Sticky Pete's oysters and ham shell shack. Life sure don't shuck. No, life don't shuck. Go ahead and put a little hot sauce on it. That's for my buddy Jimmy Paris in Jacksonville, Florida tonight. Now that stuff is hot too, let me tell you. Y'all come on down. Yeah, we can do that. Hold on. Thank you very much. This is for all the folks back home sitting on quarantine and not down here in Mexico with us tonight who are spending less time working and probably a whole lot more time drinking beer, too. <laughs> My dad retired at 62. Yeah, he took the early out. I can't believe how fast it flew by So many places I want to see and Things that I want to do And now I gotta squeeze them all in before I die He said I'm gonna have a little fun And I don't know why I waited To tell you son what I would do If I could go back and change it out of stress All of my vacation day Cause that's what they're for And a little more lazy Instead of running crazy Chasing that dollar all these years Should have spent less time working More time drinking beer Down in Mexico So I woke up this morning Calling sick to work. Well, I slipped on my flip flops and didn't even shave. Life is short and you never know just how much time you have. So I picked up my old man in a cold six pack and I headed down to San Carlos Bay. I'm gonna stress a little less and live a whole lot more. Use up all of my vacation days. Cause that's what they're for. Be a little more late. Running crazy, chasing that dollar all these years. Gonna spend less time working and more time drinking beer. Mark Mulligan, piano solo. I'll be a little more lazy, still running crazy. I'm gonna make some changes around here. I'm gonna spend less time working, more time drinking beer. Drink a little more beer. I said a lesson. Buddy, I got to tell you, it is so much more fun playing with somebody than with myself. <laughs> <laughs> Salud, buddy. You guys at home, lift that glass. Salud. Yes. Cheers. Mike, yeah, it's so uh, great to have you and Melissa here with us. Man, I, I've spent the last four months playing with, playing with myself and <laughs> staring at a, at a computer screen. <laughs> now, don't read anything into that. That's, that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> For some reason, our viewership just dropped. 
No, it just gets old to play into a computer screen. It's so nice to have some people around. I quit while you're ahead, Mike. <laughs> hey, we I got a whole serious. bunch of you guys joining us tonight, and thank you so much, everybody from Melinda in Hawaii to my friends the Leclerc's in Virginia. Mike, you got friends all over the place watching us. Say hi to them. I don't, you're my only friend. I don't have any. <laughs> Scratch that. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you're enjoying this. Uh, something totally different tonight. It's fun, too. Something tells me this boy, Mike Nash, may be spending a lot of time in Mexico in the near future. Yeah. That has a lot to do with deportation laws in the United States. <laughs> they won't let me back in for the COVID. <laughs> there we go. I can hear the sound of music coming across that border line tonight. And I can feel the touch of a young girl Gently take my hand underneath the moonlight. Soft refrains on a Spanish guitar carry me away. All voices calling as I close my eyes. Think I hear her say, Mexico. You've been there on my mind for a long, long time, and I know that I just can't stay away. Like warm white sand in the palm of my hand, gotta go. Mexico. It's been a while, but does she remember? Is she still waiting there for me? Does she ever think about those hot summer nights down by the sea? Distant highways and dusty old roads You got me crossing the line Lead me down to where nobody knows Take me back in time, Mexico Been there on my mind for a long, long time And I know That I just can't stay away, Mexico Like warm white sand in the palm of my hand to go Mexico I can feel that wind begin to blow Every time I hear that sound I know Help me out Mike Mexico You've been there on my mind for a long long time and I know That I just can't stay Mexico, like warm white sand in the palm of my hand, gotta go, and I'll be coming back to stay, Mexico, you're the one that I love and I can't get enough, Mexico, but you're another world away, Mexico. Mexico. Awesome, guys. Well, welcome to Mexico. We are in San Carlos, Sonora, Mexico. What do you think of the view behind us? That's provided by God, capital G. Give God a, co a big round of applause. And also, <laughs> I'm giving him a standing O. And also, I want to thank Seaside Realty because they provided us with this beautiful oh. stage tonight. And, Mike, you get to hang oh. out in this awesome condo. Oh, if you, you guys, if you could only see this place, it is absolutely. Like this, would, in the States, this is a $5 million condo. It's right on the beach. I don't know what it, but this is just, we've never stayed in anything this nice. It's gorgeous. As soon as we walked in the door, Melissa, she just goes, oh, honey, <laughs> we get to stay here for five whole days? This is what we all uh, live like down here, Mike. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> this is why I'm never leaving. <laughs> this, this is how musicians live in Mexico, Mike. <laughs> They're living pretty high on the hog. I'm in a, in a bus, like, you know, 40 foot long and three foot wide. 
no, we have uh, actually really enjoyed it. I want to send a big thank out, thanks out to uh, Seaside Realty for, for all they've done for us and given us this place this week and made it possible to come down here to San yeah. Carlos and just enjoy being away from the States for a little while and being down here. And it is hot, I'm not going to lie. They say it's a dry heat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what you got for us? It's not a dry heat. You're never dry down here. <laughs> I'm soaking wet. Well, speaking of uh, a guy who thought about maybe selling it all and taking off to Mexico or somewhere down at the beach, there's a brand new one, too, I just wrote. I uh, wrote this one with a couple of friends of mine out of Nashville named Barry Coggins and Kevin Douglas, otherwise known as 360 Degrees. And uh, we got together and wrote this one. It's about a guy. He, now, he's from Denver, but he could be from anywhere, I suppose, today. But uh, he's sitting right here on the beach in Mexico. You've heard the, the stories. Uh, you've, you've heard that this the old saying, if the shoe fits, right? Mm -hmm. Well, we don't wear shoes. <laughs> so we had to make it if the flip-flop fits. So here we go. <laughs> Spent my life wearing shoes of leather Tough as nails with toes of steel But they're no good in this island weather So I went shopping to find me a deal I tried on loafers, tried on sneakers I must have tried about 20 pairs or so Started feeling like I was Cinderella with that leather in between my toes If the flip-flop fits, go ahead and wear it Life is short, you gotta live by the soul Cause that old tick-tock ticks and the moment's gone So you better grab a hold of it quick If the flip-flop fits My big old feet, they were white as winter Slow strolling down the beach Come next morning they were red as lobsters But they tan right up by the end of the week I wear them fishing, I wear them dancing They keep my feet moving nice and slow It's funny how your whole world changes With a little leather in between your toes If the flip-flop fits, go ahead and wear it Life is short, it's better live by the soul Cause that old tick-tock ticks and the moment's gone So you better grab a hold of it quick If the flip-flop fits Well, I flew home to Colorado And it was ten below zero I got some frostbite on my big toe Ooh. I don't think so Came down here on a week's vacation that was 25 years ago Sold the house outside of Denver And I blew it all around the coat yeah. Cause if the flip-flop fits, go ahead and wear it Life is short if there's one thing I know It's that old tick-tock ticks and the moment's gone So you better grab a hold of it quick If the flip-flop fits if the flip-flop fits, go ahead and try one on. Hey, Mark, they come in all kinds of sizes, but it'll save your soul. <laughs> your soul. It'll yeah. save your soul. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Well, I'll tell you what, Claudia LeClaire out in Virginia told me she loves it when we can, she saw us play up, up in Rocky Point okay. a couple years ago. I and she I said it, it was kind of cool how one of us would do a, a song and then the other one would pick up on that same theme and do a, a song. We so do that a lot, actually. I'm going to follow your flip-flop song with this one. I don't wear shoes, don't sing the blues. That's never been my style. I don't play Stevie Ray. I'm the barefoot happy guy. Yeah. But that all changed the other day when she said, honey, try these on. My jaw dropped as she handed me the box. All I could think was run. I got the shoes, blues. How in the world did she ever get me into these shoes, blues? Get these things off of me.
and they're not even flip-flops. This is wrong. The girl is evil. Tell me this is all a bad dream. I'll mow the lawn. I'll take out the trash. Just don't do this to me. Size, black leather. No, this can't be true. Box after box piled up on the table. What am I gonna do with these shoes? Blues. How in the world did she ever get me into these shoes? Blues. To get these things off of me. Three words. Take them back. She looked at me and said, Sorry, Jack. I'm sick of those sandals. I threw away your thongs. Now put them on or I'm gone out of here. Shoes blues too. How about that boy guitar? My God, what have you done? I look ridiculous. Pressed pants, button down. That ain't the worst of it. I got ten toes wiggling around. Say I've set us free. It's hot and cramped and crowded in here. I'll pay the ransom. Just get me out of these shoes. Blues. How in the world did she ever get me into these shoes? Blues. Get these things off of me. Shoes. Blues. I can't believe people actually walk in these shoes. Blues. Get these things off of me. I'm begging you, baby, please. Get these shoes away from me. All right, hand me the necktie. <laughs> Sounds like you got them too, bud. <laughs> it's hard not to get them down here, buddy. <laughs> How you doing Get in the away heat from over those there, Mike? Shoes. I, I'm, I'm dealing with it, you I, know. I told Mike if he keels over off that bar stool, they better because he has a decent buzz <laughs> note going and not from the heat. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm from Tennessee, and we get humidity and, and the heat and all that. But, you know, the thing about out here is, like I said, they say it's a dry heat. Well, that's up in Phoenix. This is far from Phoenix. This is right on the ocean, and it gets pretty humid down here. I'm not going to lie. But, you know, there's another place that gets a little humid. A place I love, too, over on the East Coast called Florida. And this place reminds me a lot of it, actually, when I lived in Florida. Just a nice small town by the beach that's livable. Where the man said it's about 98 Sun shining bright There ain't a cloud in the sky I loaded the boat up with gas and beer Man, that water's looking crystal clear And it's a heck of a day to be alive Oh, 
Another hot Mexico day. Florida sounds nice and cool right now. <laughs> it sure does. Yeah. What is it? Turn around. All right. That sounds good, Mark. Mark, I want to thank you for uh, making it possible for us to come down this week. Man, this oh. is my very first time here in the summer. And we usually come down and do the winter, you know, down in uh, <laughs> like January and stuff down here. So it's really cool to get down here in the summertime. It's a whole different vibe uh, than, than the winter. I You'll like notice it. I never mentioned to you about the weather. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. It's actually what is it? it? Oh yeah, we're looking for somebody. If there's anybody in town that wants to go fishing in the next few days, Melissa and I are looking for a fishing trip. So we've never been fishing on the Sea of Cortez. Wow. So change that. Yeah. All right. Any of my friends in San Carlos, keep that in mind. Mike and Melissa are just here for a few days. They sure would love to go out. If anybody wants to go fishing, or even just take them out on a boat, even if you, if you have a drinking boat, that'd be great too. <laughs> Fishing boat or a drinking boat, either one. So Mike and I have a friend over in Texas who some of you guys might know. His name is Kelly McGuire. Yes. He wrote this next song, and Mike, I know this is one you can relate to, especially this last week as you bailed from Rocky Point, went to Utah for one show, and came all the way back to Mexico. Yes. Like I said, he turned around and ran. Run from the madness. <laughs> so let's do this one together. You guys can all sing along. Time for us all to turn around and run. Everyone ready to sing? From a week in paradise, I got used to holding you close every night. As we come down from the clouds and touch the ground, you're squeezing my hand so tight. But a paradise is behind us, where we learn less is really more. And all we needed was each other. Then what are we coming back for? Let's turn around and run back to the sea and the sun. Don't need much to have fun Just some lotion and some rum We could snorkel for free Or make love on the beach Lay around in the sun Smartest thing we've ever done Let's turn around and run This big old city so full of people Buzzing around like flies all stressed out in their everyday world Dressed up in their suits and their ties Trying to achieve the next level With a bonus, they can buy that new car Or a big house just to keep the family They think those things are who they are Let's turn around and run Back to the sea and the sun much to have fun, just some 
with some lotion and some rum. We could snorkel for free or just hang out on the beach. Lay around in the sun, smartest thing we've ever done. Let's turn around. Now Mike Nash wrote this next part. La, 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 la. We could leave all this behind. No choice but collect our baggage. Get ready for that nine to five grind. As we lugged our way to the exit, I could see the question in her eyes. So I answered with a smile. I grabbed her hand. Next plane back to paradise. Right on, girl. Let's turn around and that Mexico sun Don't need much to have fun Just some lotion and some rum We could snorkel for free Or make love on the beach Lay around in the sun Smartest thing we've ever done Let's turn around and run Come on everyone at home, let's all run Let's turn around Back to that San Carlos sun. Don't need much to have fun. Just some lotion and some Captain Morgan rum. We could snorkel for free. Or just hang out on the beach. Lay around in the sun. Smartest thing we've ever done. Let's turn around and run. Lay around in the sun. Smartest thing we've ever done. Let's turn around and run. Now that sounds like a game plan, and Mike and Melissa have been living the video to that song. <laughs> All right, what you got We for have us? been living the video to that song, as a matter of fact. That's been the strangest thing about the, the COVID thing for us, you know, is that we, we go 300 days a year, we've been on the road, you know. And so it was very strange in the beginning. Like for two months, we were just shut down and. And, uh, you know, first couple of weeks, it was kind of weird. But then all of a sudden, we, we found out we liked it. It was kind of nice being home. And, you know, yeah. I think, in a way, all this happening has kind of slowed us all down. You know, we were also just go, 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 go all the time in life. And maybe now it's kind of slowed us down a little bit and made us I appreciate agree. life a little bit more. I agree. This is one I'm going to be putting on the new album. Um, it just, it's the perfect song for down here. <laughs> I was down and out of money I was dry as a bone Standing on a corner in Juarez, Mexico Outside Camilla's cantina I caught a glimpse of hope When a gentle man began to speak to me He said he traveled to El Norte to work the San Joaquin A locket from his mother Would ease the suffering There were days as dry as ashes And nights as cold as hell But faith and desperation served him well And if you see him you will know him By the look upon his face Left eye kind of twinkles From the light of peace and grace well, He can speak in any language But he favors Espanol Jesus lives in Juarez, Mexico well, I could see it in his fingers I could hear it in his voice the years had not been kind to one Who clearly had no choice He was baptized in the waters Of the restless Rio Grande 
and how he's found a place to call his home. And if you see him, you will know him by the look upon his face. His left eye kind of twinkles from the light of peace and grace. He can speak in any language, but he favors Espanol. Jesus lives in Juarez, Mexico. Well, it suddenly came clear to me just who this wise man was. I wondered if I'd get to see all the miracles he does. So I started in to tell him just where my life went wrong, but it didn't seem to matter anymore. So if you get down to El Paso, be sure and cross the border, especially if you find the need to get your life in order outside Camilla's Cantina. That's where you'll save your soul. Jesus lives in Juarez, Mexico. And if you see him, you will know him by the look upon his face. Yeah, his lips are kind of twinkles from the light of peace and grace. He can speak in any language, but he favors Espanol. Jesus lives in Juarez, Mexico. Yes, he can speak in any language. Better well, mas prefer de español. Jesus lives in Juarez, Mexico. Wow, what a song. Thank you. I, think, I did not I, write that. Really? Who, who wrote that song? Melissa, please look that up for me. <laughs> I always want to say it's Christopher Dale, but it's not Christopher Dale. It's um, He's from San Diego, and he plays at Kevin and Tish's. Okay. Will you look up Wars Mexico, please? What a great... I am so bad with names. That's all right. What a great song. Oh, man. I, you know, we were at Kevin and Tish's uh, uh, Casa Tortuga in uh, in San Diego, and we... We were just sitting there on the back porch one night, and I heard this song playing yeah. as we're all sitting there having drinks and talking. And I said, Tish, what, what is that? I love that song. And she told me, you know, who it wasn't. The guy comes and plays house concerts there at yeah. their house every now and then. Okay. And I just fell in love with it. And I said, you know, I'm going to – he does it a little more kind of upbeat. Okay. And I felt like I wanted to pull it down a little bit. And yeah. uh, I can't wait to put it on the new album. It's Great a beautiful song. song. Cool. And it reminds me of Mexico. Yeah. Well, awesome. How are you guys out there doing? Please send us your comments. We've got a whole bunch of people watching on Mike Nash's Facebook pages, and I want to say hello to them because a lot of them I haven't yet had a chance to sing for. And, Mike, I'm loving the fact that a lot of people on my Facebook page tonight who are watching on my feed are seeing you for the first time. I think that's cool. Yeah, We're fan sharing tonight. We're fan sharing, <laughs> so it's really, really cool. We appreciate all you guys. We know we got a big crowd watching us tonight. If you know somebody right now who is still, like, glued to the news, get them off there, send them over to oh. one of our pages and we'd love to have them join us. Uh, we're having a great time. And have them so. stop getting brainwashed by the news, by the <laughs> there way. We yeah. Yeah. That's, there we go. There we go. Well, tell you what. Um, our buddy Tom Shepard mm -hmm. co-wrote this song with me. Not only that, he went to uh, Nashville with me, and we recorded it as a duo. Mike has recorded several Tom Shepard songs. I and have. it was a real treat for me to actually do this song with Tom Shepard. Yeah. Tom, if you're out there watching us tonight, congratulations on your new house in awesome. Sandpoint, Idaho. Coley, we're happy for you, too. And uh, this one goes out for you guys. Hope everyone sings along. The old man drank a beer every now and then. One day we cracked a couple, just me and him. At 80 years old, all the stories he could tell you about his far flung friends from France to Venezuela. He said I swigged Fosters with Aussies and Guinness in an Irish pub. A Shiner Bach and Looking Bach and Buddy Sherman enough. It's all the same beer, 
different can Just different labels and different brands But the more you sit, the more you understand It's all the same beer, different can Our pal Tom Shepard played a tour overseas Singing for all our folks Stationed in the Middle East At the ambassador's home right there in the air He sang a special song he'd written about his dad And when the show was over he was loading up his band this guy walked up to Tom and stuck out his hand. He said, that song about your father really meant a lot to me. Cause I just lost mine and you described him perfectly. Now that man had on a white robe. He wore sandals on his feet. He had a gutra on his head. And man, it ain't that hard to see We're all the same beer, different can Just different labels, different brands But the more you sit, the more you understand We're all the same beer, different can I believe God's gonna get a good laugh when we learn all of us buds and millers and land sharks and Tecate lights and Pacificos and even Pabst are all the same beer, different can. Just different labels and different brands. The more you understand, we're all the same beer, different can. The more you sit, the more you understand, we're all the same beer, different can. And hello, Tom Shepard out there. Hope all is well with you, bud. Uh, Mike, what you got for man, us? Man, I love how Tom writes because he always throws in those weird chords. You know what I mean? Like the, the chords that us average guitar players don't normally know. <laughs> yeah. You know, and the really cool sounding ones. Well, let's see. I was, uh, I was just thinking about this one, actually. Um, so I was just talking about a minute ago, you know, going fishing, maybe get a fishing boat or a drinking boat. Well, we were out on the lake up in Montana. About this time last year, we always do a show up in Montana. And we were out on our friend's boat, and it was a fishing boat, right? So I said, where's all the fishing stuff? They said, well, this isn't a fishing boat today. It's a drinking boat. <laughs> I thought, boy, there needs to be a song about the drinking boat. Oh, yeah. you know? So I started thinking about it. Now, how do you make a song about the drinking boat? Because when you're the guy on the fishing boat, you're out there fishing away and having a good time. You don't like the guy on the drinking boat because he comes by in his big 50-footer with six engines on the back and <laughs> 30 naked women hanging off the side. And they're all drinking. And Don't he you got, hate that? He's got, <laughs> he's got his boom, boom, boom music. And it scares off all your fish, right? But when you're the guy on the drinking boat, that's right. you don't care about the guy on the fishing boat. you got 30 <laughs> naked women on your boat and you're, you're drinking, right? So I thought, if I'm going to write this, i got to write it from the perspective of the drinking boat guy. And how he doesn't care about the fishing guy, and he doesn't care about scaring off all of his fish, right? So this is what I came up with. For all the drinking boat fellas and ladies out there. Here we go. I went and got myself a drinking boat. Cause I ain't out here for the fishing. I got no bait, but I got shade for the ladies. 
If you should find you got one missing You'll hear me blasting out my stereo Break out some burgers, grill them up I got a blender and some beer I don't need no fishing gear Cause all I'm catching is a buzz I put my drinking boat in and out And all the ladies, they just scream and shout I rev it up and they climb aboard So much bikinis makes my eyes get sore I like to stick it in the cruise control Pop a beer and let the good times roll I buzz by you while you baiting your hooks I see you giving me them dirty looks That's why I got myself a drinking boat Cause I ain't out here for the fishing I got no bait, but I got shade for the ladies. If you should find you got one missing, you'll hear me blasting out my stereo. Pop a beer and let the good times roll. I got a blender and some beer. I don't need no fishing gear, cause all I'm catching is a buzz. I put my drinking boat in and out. And all the ladies, they just scream and shout. Oh, that's the wrong verse. My drinking boat holds all my friends. They always telling me how cool I am. I see you checking out my high checks. I buzz by and stay away your fish. Am I you tangled in a low tree? I know you really wish that you was me. Cause while you cranking on your Johnson, everybody thank you ah oh, so fun having you down here I might be getting me hey, some trolls. I want to wish a well actually yesterday was a happy birthday for my little boy Jose let's see if we can get his picture up there nice. we had a bash at the house now these days with COVID birthday parties aren't quite what they used to be so we had two kids over <laughs> my poor son there he is Jose Mulligan is 10 years old nice. look at him there we had a good time and he's stoked because he got a brand new trampoline for his birthday, and they went to town on that thing. We had pizza, and it was great. And then there was a little drive-by parade of all the friends who couldn't come, uh, couldn't get out of the cars. So we had like probably six or seven cars of people honking horns, and we'd run out and give them cake and all. So it was cool. I also want to wish a happy birthday to Linda Cunningham. Linda Cunningham is out there watching us from Colorado tonight. There she is lifting her glass. She's with my friend Cheryl Howell, who wishes her... A happy birthday. Hope both of you ladies are doing well, and thanks for joining us tonight. I also, while I'm saying hello to folks, I want to say hi to Leslie Salem. Look at Leslie Salem. We love her in this town. Leslie is, uh, is another local entertainer here who really appreciates all the prayers from the community as she goes in for surgery tomorrow, having some, uh, some stuff done on her heart. And, uh, you know, she's in good hands with a good doctor up there. And Leslie and Bobby both have these positive attitudes. But I want you to keep Leslie in your prayers. And I want you to do the same thing for Bobby as he's awaiting some results himself. Bobby and Leslie, we love you both. And thank you because I know you're both watching tonight. 
I also want to say happy birthday to Paula Masulowicz. She is watching in Phoenix. Paula, happy birthday, and this song goes out for you, and it also goes out for Linda. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Paula and Linda. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> and thank you so much for joining us. All right, I figured I'd break one out of the archives here. This one goes back to my second album. I think I've got 15 albums out. I lost track. I got nothing else to do but write songs. Uh, this second album was called Son of the Sunshine, and it was a cassette tape. And this song right here, I actually wrote on a napkin at the bar at the Tufa Tavern in Kirkland Junction, Arizona. It was a cold, windy day, and I was dreaming about getting out of that part of Arizona and heading down to Mexico when I wrote this song. And I got about three quarters of the song written, and I put that cocktail napkin in my guitar case, and I forgot about it. And I don't know how much longer, maybe a couple of years later, a year later, I don't know what it was, I was sitting on a sand dune in Mexico, and I found this napkin of this three quarters written song, and I finished it up. So it took me a while to get the song done. You probably haven't heard this one before, unless you've Got a cassette player, that is. Winter's on the way and the cold wind's starting to blow. Creeping through the cracks in my window, knocking on my door. I lie awake wondering if tomorrow's gonna be any brighter. But the weatherman says I better throw another log on the fire. I spent nearly all of my life running round in the sunshine. But now I look around and I see nothing but clouds in the sky. So I throw another blanket on the bed and dream of distant horizons. And let that warm wind blow as I close my eyes. I hear the desert and the ocean and the islands all calling out to me. Screaming out my name like long lost family. Calling me home on a cold, dark night. Son of the sunshine, a child of the free and distant winds that blow. Baptized in the waters off the coast of Mexico. And I know. I'll be already gone when the forecast calls for rain. And I know I'll be heading down that highway once again. Leaving all the clouds behind. Straight for the borderline. Sun on the sunshine. Could it be the force of gravity that's taking a hold of me? Pulling me back down to where I know I should be. Leading me home on a cold, dark night. Son of a sunshine. A child of the free and distant winds that blow. Baptized in the waters of coast to Mexico and I know I'll be already gone when the forecast calls for rain and I know I'll be heading down that highway once again leaving all the clouds behind straight for the borderline sun of the sunshine a child of the free and distant winds that blow Originally on a cassette tape, but later we put that one on my album that's called Best of the Early Years. What? How old am I? I've got a Best of the Early Years CD. 
But that's on there. And You're I still hope in you your early that. years, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to the stage, Mike Nash. Everybody from your couches, give it up for Mike Nash. Yay. I hear you. Wow. <laughs> you look good on camera, especially, you know, especially with that ocean behind you. You know, you, anybody could look good with that ocean <laughs> yeah. behind you. Yeah. It's uh, gorgeous. Um, I think maybe possibly my daughter Kendall might be tuned in, so I thought I might do a little postcards from the road and maybe get you on piano, Mark, if you don't mind. That'd be cool. So this is a little song that I wrote, as I mentioned earlier. You know, Melissa and I, we're on the road. Pre-COVID, we're on the road 300 days a year, and, and we, we love the life. We, we get, we're so blessed to get to travel and see so much of this country and this world, and, uh, places like this. You know, these beautiful little spots that you just never find unless you know somebody there that invites you down. And so we, uh, because of, the drawback to that is that my, my daughter, Kendall's 17, and uh, we don't get to, I don't get to see her near as much as I'd like. So uh, what I do is I buy her a postcard from all the different places that we go. But I don't fill it out and give it to her like normal. I give it to her blank. And the reason for that is when she gets older, She's got like 100 postcards on her wall, and when she gets older, I'd like her to go pick one of those postcards off and go to that place, see what she thinks about it, and send it back to me. Fill out the postcard, send it back. Kind of a cool lifetime thing. So anyway, I was telling my friend Aaron Schurz about that, and Aaron said, man, we got to write that song. So this is what we came up with. My buddy Lenny just showed up. What's up? Lenny. How are you, man? <laughs> nice. The whole gang's here today. So I'm going to send this one out to my daughter with love. And uh, this one's called Postcards from the Road. God, I wish you could have been there. On the coast of Carolina Seen the sun light up the sky I felt the wind blowing through your head I can't wait to bring you back here That's what I wrote On that postcard from the road You don't know how much I missed you In that hill country moonlight It reminded me of your eyes Shining on Christmas Day Baby girl, I might be late, but you know I'll make it home. Send that postcard from the road. And then adding up as the years go flying by. Baby, I hope they mean as much for you to read as they do for me to write. Yeah, I hate I can't be with you. There to watch you grow. But I hope you feel my love each time you hold your postcard from the road. Yeah. God, I wish you could have heard him when the lights came up in Tucson. Yeah, they even knew the new songs and sang along with every word. From Old Key West to Muscle Shoals, we've shared the Straits of Mexico. Those little pieces of my heart, and each and every postcard from the road. And then adding up as years go flying by. Baby, I hope they mean as much for you to read as they do for me to write. Yeah, I hate I keep being you grow, but I hope you feel my love each time you hold your postcard from the road. Well, it ain't much, but it works for us, just a couple of gypsies, so and I know that day is coming, but you'll be sending me your own postcards from the road. They'll be adding up as the years keep flying by Maybe I know They're gonna mean as much for me to read As they will for you to write They'll say, Daddy, you know I miss you And I 
don't you go growing old And I hope you feel my love each time you hold Your postcard from the road That postcard from the road God, I wish you could have been there Sing, please come to Boston for the springtime. Singing with some friends, and they got lots of room. <laughs> Thank you. It's for my daughter Kendall. That was cool. Ah, so nice to be back in Mexico, guys. Seriously. Love it down here. You know, I did my song for my daughter. I think you, uh, don't you have a song for Marisol? I do. Let's do that one right now. So Marisol had a good time at Jose's birthday yesterday. She's so stoked that he got a trampoline. And uh, Marisol is eight years old now. And, um, you know, a couple times, Mike, we've gotten to use this condominium that you guys get to stay in. Seaside gave it to us. Uh, following a couple of shows. And is that Soul, Seaside Realty? That is. Nice. And uh, Anyway, Mighty Soul, she loves this water out here. You know, her name means ocean and sun, and she runs straight into that water every time. Mike, I love that song about your daughter. In fact, that whole album is one of my favorites. I've, uh, I've recommended it to so many people. That album... It's called Stay Thirsty. If you do not have Mike Nash's Stay Thirsty, you got to pick it up. Thank you, buddy. It's one of those trop rock albums that's a must-have. You know, you inspired me to write my song about my daughter, actually. Yeah, cool. Because of this song. I love it so much. Awesome. Mom means ocean. Soul means sun. Just in case you're wondering where her name came from. Anything in life could ever be as beautiful as sea and the sun together, at least until the day she came along. Now, whoa, 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 I love my little mighty soul. and fun but there are things that only daughters do now that pink dress and those little shoes are matching I can't believe she's already into fashion she's gonna break a heart or two whoa 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 I love my little And her curl. Whoa, 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 whoa. I love my little mighty soul. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. She's just her daddy's girl. She's growing up too fast. And each day she's prettier than the one before. I don't want to think about. The day some kid comes knocking on my door. You know that feeling, Mike? Yeah. Singing, oh, 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 I love your daughter, my soul. Oh, 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 more than anything in this world. Oh, 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 
He'll be in love with mighty soul. Oh, 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 oh. But she'll still be daddy's girl. She'll always be the daddy's girl. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I love my little body so. Thank you very much. You know, we actually have a studio audience today. Chris and Mary are with us on their final. Uh, show visit of mine. They've helped me out on so many shows. Chris and Mary Roth, you saw a Facebook post from me with a video about them this week. And uh, my friend Lenny just showed up too. Lenny, great to see you. It's been a long time. And of course, we got Elsa and Melissa here. Running the video tonight are Pablo and Anais, and they are doing a great Muy job. Bueno. Give Muy them a big round of applause. What a, what a special night this is. Uh, and I have a special song coming up for Nancy and Mike, and it's going to come up right after this one. But you know what? Mike, I see that you have a request here, and it's actually a request for the first song of mine that really, really hit home with me. I was up at the Fins to the West event one time, yeah. I, I think up in Nevada, it we was, doing this, yeah. and this had to be five years or longer ago, <sighs> and you, you did such a powerful performance of this. I don't know if you remember, but we didn't know each other back then. I remember I you were crying like a little baby. <laughs> I, <mean>. <laughs> I was weeping. <laughs> I was also drunk. He was weeping. <laughs> I think they just cut me off. <laughs> so that's why he's crying. Yeah, that's why it wasn't because of the song. It's because yeah. he was out of alcohol. That's, but I walked up to the stage. I don't remember this, and I told you how much that song was that. really, that performance was so powerful. And uh, I know Jim Schrader out there watching in Florida. Uh, yeah. Jim is either in Florida or Illinois right now. Jim and Linda would love to hear the song, too. Could you tell us a bit about it? Well, you know, the, uh, I would love to take credit for, for the whole thing, but actually a friend of mine, Mitch Townley in Knoxville, Tennessee, uh, came to me with the idea, and uh, he had it, you know, pretty much put together, but we kind of got together and just sort of finished up the details of it and uh, arranged it to fit uh, what we were doing, and I just absolutely, I fell in love with the message of this song because to me it's, it's such a, a powerful message that we all need to hear, and especially, you know, in times like this, Right now, with all the stuff going on with the COVID, and you know, there's just a kind of the pull on the switch and the end of the world. And, um, it's a song that reminds us all to live, to live every day, live every breath, because uh, one of these days it's going to be our last, and that's the only guarantee in life, you know. And I think as, uh, one of my favorite sayings that you have is, "It's I, I don't have to do this today; I get to do this today." Yeah. And I think all of us, if we live by that motto right there, I get to wake up today. I get to be alive today. And one of these days, maybe that's not going to be there. So start living your life that way, and I think we'd be all a whole lot happier. So this is called Number. Amen. Amen. Definitely. Let's play it. There's a homie cross on the side of Lake Road. Near the weeds just a day ago That's where I lost my friend To a head-on crash His football jersey, lucky number five Was hanging on that chair Graduation night Where he should have been Man, I want him back We were 17 and bulletproof At least that's what we'd say You know, I still feel the sound From when they read his name It was a wake-up call A warning shot A kick in the gut reminder that Right now is all we got So I'm gonna live every moment Like tomorrow's gone Cause all my days are numbered And I don't know one I'm on Well it hit me hard when I got the news I drove to his house fighting back the truth Hoping he was there Working on his truck 
as we made our plans for that summer road trip to hit every beach on our bucket list, throw some chords down, and rack those memories. Yeah, we talk about those college girls, and now we spend our lives. Never once thinking twice, we had anything but time. It was a wake up call. A warning shot, a kick in the gut reminder, right now is all we got, so I'm gonna live every moment like tomorrow's gone, cause all our days are numbered, I don't Thank God for every grain of sand in my hourglass. There was a wake up call, a warning shot, a kick in the gut reminder. Right now is all we got, so I'm gonna live, laugh, and love like tomorrow's gone. Cause all our days are numbered I don't know which one I'm on oh, All my days are numbered Ooh. You gotta live like you would die There's a homemade cross on the side of Lake Road. I clear the weeds every week or so. It's where I lost my friend. Mark Mulligan on the piano, man. That sounds great, buddy. It really fun. does. Well, while I'm Such on a this pleasure piano. playing with you again, man. Lots of fun. And uh, Jim and Linda Schrader watching this. Uh, did you get how many years, Elsa? Uh, 52 years. Everybody at home, give it up for Jim and Linda. 52 Woo. years. Wow. That is great. Jim and Linda are longtime friends. Of, of course, I see them just about every year at Island Fest, which is coming up this year, October 1st to 5th. Jim and Linda, I hope you're going to be there to join us again. And um, so I'm going to send this next one out, and maybe Anais and Pablo. What would be nice, I think, on this one, Let's show some of the other people who are in love. Look. Some of you guys just might show up in this next song. So keep your eyes glued to that screen. This one is off the album called Journey Round the Sun. And it goes out for Jim and Linda tonight. Happy anniversary to them. And this happens to be the wedding song of this couple sitting right over here. Chris and Mary on their last night here in St. Girls. We are not opposed to Chris and Mary getting up off that couch and dancing. Six feet apart. Yeah, six feet apart. Six feet apart with masks now. If you kiss her, it must be with a mask on. <laughs> oh, that, what Mary is doing right now is definitely prohibited <laughs> with social distancing. Granddad fell in love with my grandma back in 25. He knew right then she was the one. Now they are in black and white. And as I wipe the dust off of that frame, I know that they're together once again. I would have loved to live back when the world didn't spin so fast. Things were different way back then, yet love was made to last. It was more than just some store-bought ring. Those vows they made meant everything. I want to love you like that, or I don't want to love you at all. Someday I want to look back at a picture hanging up on a wall and remember how it all began. 
I want to love you. I want to love you like that. One day we stood up before God. Everyone we knew, I gave my word, you gave your heart, and we softly said, I do, with a promise to live faithfully, for not a day less than eternity. So here we are now, me and you, raising four kids of our own. We've done the best that we can do to make this house into a home. And our kids will meet someone someday. When they think of us, I know that they will say, I want to love you like that, or I don't want to love you at all. Someday I want to look back at a picture hanging up on a wall and remember how it all began when I took your hand and said, I want to love you. up on a wall and remember how it all began when I took your hand and said I want to love you I want to love you like that I want to love you like that I want to love you like that Mark Mulligan, you're going to make me cry. Well, it was I'll, beautiful. I'll, I was watching Chris and Mary while you guys were looking at all those couples dancing. I was watching Chris and Mary, and I was thinking one thing: get a room. <laughs> <laughs> it's hey. a three-bedroom condo. Pick one. We're not using them all. So, Mike, Three of them. We're yeah, not that's using true. This is the right place to get a room, <laughs> dude. If it doesn't happen here, it's not going to happen. <laughs> This is no Motel 6. <laughs> hey, so, Mike, you saw a lot of the couples on that, uh, on that video, and I know you know wow, a lot of those I people. I know a lot of them, and, uh, yeah, i got to be honest with you guys. I am so impressed with the quality of what you're, you're doing down here. It's all a sham. I mean, that, like, <laughs> I'm going, wow, I really, my, my, my home concerts have really sucked. <laughs> I don't have all this fancy stuff and lighting and, and <laughs> like different TVs. We're looking. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but we're actually watching ourselves on a big screen here, and we know what's going on. It's like a horror flick. Of course, then again, I don't have that background either. <laughs> but gosh, yeah, you guys are doing a fantastic job. Thank I mean, you. Seriously. You know, Mike, I, I know like you, um, we've been. I was really talking about them so much. <laughs> <not me. laughs> we, we, have been, we have been blessed to have a group of people that every single week tune in for this thing. <laughs> And I want to thank all you guys who do that, who make Monday nights part of your routine. And, Mike, your night is, is – uh, I know you do a lot of Wednesdays, but you've been kind of rotating it lately. Let yeah. us know about your show. Um, right now it's, it's just kind of been varied because we're out on the road and we're, we're able to actually pick up a few shows. I've just been going live from our house concerts and stuff. So um, right now it's just kind of – whenever we kind of throw it up, you know. Um, we were going to do it last Wednesday night, but then when we talked about this, I said, no, I'll wait and do it here. Um, I'm trying not to do hours too much because we're able to go out and play a few shows. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to kind of take away from everybody else because I know we all need this. I mean, gosh, this has helped us all keep our lights on and the bills paid right. from the beginning of all this COVID stuff. Forget so. lights. I'm talking food. <laughs> food, all that. <laughs> beans. Yeah. <laughs> beans. I got some beans, man. So, uh, I'll eat you know. in the dark. I don't care, but I just would like to eat like every third day. <laughs> just three days is good. Um, so, I, you know, since we are able to get out and play a few shows, I, I didn't want to overdo it and take too much of the pie from everybody else because I know it's hard. Get back to work, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's hard for, sounds good, but for the people out there that are watching. You just got lazy and didn't feel like doing the show and drank beer instead. But, uh, the way I said it sounded a lot better, Mark. <laughs> it did, but it's not working. It's not true. None of us are buying it. No, it is true. It's, uh, I didn't want to take too much of it because I know it's hard. You know, the people out there, I mean, they've got all of us they love. 
to watch. But, I mean, gosh, to watch, you know, five, six guys a day and be tipping that kind of money every single day. So I thought, well, you know, we'll just kind of cut ours back to a few and uh, not try to be overkill for anybody, but, you know, still have it. So cheers good. to everybody out there, and thank you. I know Mark and I and all of the musicians, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. You have kept us alive and kept our bills paid through all this, and we That's really right. appreciate it. It means a lot. And we've got some expensive bills. We're going to after this weekend. <laughs> you ever seen my bar tabs? <laughs> no, you usually run out on them, don't you? <laughs> What's you got for us? Well, I guess since we're speaking of bars, I'm going to do a little time behind them. Right. I'm, oh, I'm, yeah. I'm no stranger to doing time behind bars, and I think I'm going to set you up for a song on this one because I like doing this where we, I throw it up and he knocks it out. <laughs> Did you see that? I could never do that again. No, look. Look where it landed. I could never do that again if I tried, especially in the wind. <laughs> Me too, yeah. So this is for all you poor unfortunate souls out there who've ever had to do a little time behind bars. You know what I mean? Well, I guess you could say my problems began the day she walked out of my door. She said, we're through, and I got someone new. Honey, I don't need you anymore. Well, I think of a time way back when she thought I hung the stars. Now, all thanks to that woman of mine, I'm doing time behind bars. Uh oh well, at first I was a little bit nervous Cause I've heard a story or two But they welcomed me in And I made a lot of new friends The ones with scars and tattoos And I sure love to get out of this place But I never make it too far So year after year I sit right here Doing time behind bars so bartender, pour a shot of whiskey I like mine on the rocks I keep knocking them down So pour another round And fire up that old jukebox And sing a song about faded love For all of us Who ever had a broken heart I raise my glass and toast To my kind of boat Doing time behind bars. I'll pick it, Coral Reapers. Here we go. Well, now they won't let me out till I pay my debts. And I barely got the money for cigarettes. Now she ain't coming back. That's for sure. So come on over here and bartender pour another shot of whiskey. I like mine on the rocks. I keep a knocking them down. I'm gonna pour the house a double round the crown and fire up that old jukebox and sing a song about faded love. Whoever had a broken heart, I raise my glass and toast to my kind of folks doing time behind bars. Yeah, the party never ends. I'm here with all my friends, and we're all doing time behind bars. The good kind of bars, the drinking bar. You know, your song Numbered was really emotional, but that song came from the heart. <laughs> <laughs> it came from experience. I can tell. I can tell. You have one like that that came from experience, well, don't you? Well, let's go there right now. Who, <laughs> wants, who in this crowd wants to do a little drink in Mexico dry with Mike Nash and me? Lift up your glasses, and here we go. One tequila, two tequila, three tequila, four. Spring Breakers. With salt shakers, chasing every shot with a line. Old geese.
geezers and gold diggers. It's amazing what... And falling on the floors They're all drinking Mexico dry And I wish that they would just go home Get out of here <laughs> Don't worry, you guys watching me right now I seem so far away on the screen We're just changing the camera battery I'll be close to you real sec <laughs> He dumped his wife in Casa Grande, ain't seen his kids in a year. He's 45, she's 19. Hey, baby, can I buy you a beer? Time out. I know what each and every one of you are thinking right now. <laughs> Knock it off. They're all drinking Mexico dry. Expatriated from the red, white, and blue. Now he's drinking Mexico dry. And I wish that he would just go They'll always tell you, don't drink that water, but this ain't what they mean. They call the culture intoxicating. I look around and all that I see are underage, white trash, playing king for a day, screaming, hey, waiter, speak English. Can't you see I'm from the USA? They're all drinking Mexico dry. Help me out, Mike. One, One tequila, two tequila, three tequila, four. They're all drinking Mexico dry. And I wish that they would just go home. You want to give me Really get wild. Another shot in. Vacation's over. Now he's here for a while. Cause he got hammered. He got nailed. They threw his butt in the can. And now it's please God, get me out and I'll never drink with Mike Nash again. Yes, you will. No more. Drinking Mexico dry. He's finally learning how to say no, no more. He's not. I, no mas. No mas. Drinking Mexico dry. And I wish that he would just go home. He's kind of a slow learner. Yeah, I wish that he would just go home. Skanky folks with rum and cokes. I wish that they would just, just go home. Get out of here. You know, Mike, what's kind of cool is in a couple of days, three of our buddies are getting together and doing what we're doing right here. I hear that Tropicool, which is Sonny Jim, Jimmy Pappas, and John Patty are getting together for a trio show nice. on Wednesday night, and that's on the Sonny Jim music page. That's another show that he just puts a lot of effort into, and if you get a chance, it's at 8 p.m. Eastern. Tropicool, uh, Sonny Jim. John Patty on the Steel Pan's incredible, and then Jimmy Pappas. And yeah. it's kind of rare that the, the trio gets together these days, so if you get a chance, check those boys out. You're going to enjoy that show, too. Yeah, definitely. Actually, I think I'm going to watch it because we're just hanging out here Wednesday night. So yeah. Give me something to watch. Yeah, they've done a great job, too. Like I said, it's just been amazing for all of us to be able to still play. And, and it's a little odd, a little weird singing to a camera. We're not going to lie. It, it took a little adjusting. But it's fun knowing who's on the other side of the camera. Exactly. And, and yeah. especially after the show, when we read the comments from you guys, especially the ones that, that don't say things like, you suck, dude. <laughs> Wait, you get ones that don't say that? All <laughs> of mine do. say that. <laughs> you suck. Love mom. <laughs> Love mom. <laughs> um, but anyway, th uh, it's so much more fun for us knowing that you guys are out there watching. And uh, thanks for sharing the show with your friends, too. Mike Nash, what have you got for us? I'm still laughing at you, <laughs> suck, love mom. That was, did I, you just come up with that? That was I, really I good. wish I was kidding. <laughs> it's one of the sweeter notes she's written me lately. That was fantastic. <laughs> oh. Well, let's see. It looks like I've got a request for a uh, rocket ship. 
So, uh, Elsa, uh, I'm sorry, I forgot. I did not see who it was from. Hold on. Here comes our request girl. Our request girl. Wait, let, Van, like Vanna White, you should walk in front of the camera and show everybody. Any. No, witness. Hold on. No, witness. Oh, it's Lynn. Hold it's on. Okay. We want you to see what a high-tech show this is, yes. ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Here's how we get your requests. <laughs> a lot of misspellings on there. So it looks like, uh, <laughs> let's see. Okay, so it's Lynn and Carrie. And they're from, uh, well, obviously it works out good because Lenny's here. Hold on. Lenny and Carrie, <laughs> they're, up in, uh, they're up in Seattle and... Ross? Ross and Bobby. Hold on. Elsa, our eyes are not that good. you got to get closer. And Shay Johnston, I've got one coming up for you too. Okay. And Nick Sims, she's writing yours down now. So for this one... <laughs> All right. So uh, I've just, no, I'm, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good for now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm starting to get a little buzz down here. I can't tell if it's the heat or the alcohol. I'm not sure. <laughs> Is it the alcohol? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's that 15th drink today. There's something about being down here. You just want to drink more. I don't know what it is. I've actually decided I need to go back and write a couple more verses for this song because I wrote it back in 2009. And it was when I was watching the news and flipping through the news, and it was just all this bad stuff after bad stuff after bad stuff and just all this crap. And I said to myself, you know, I'm going to write a song about this, but I'm going to move to Mars. I'm going to write the song and move to Mars. And, okay, I can do that one for Nick Sims on my next round. Um, so I think I'm going to go back and, and try at some point. Maybe I'll do it this week, actually. It would be a perfect time to do it. I've got some time off. And write another, a couple more verses to this song about the modern day times. But if you can imagine this one being written in 2009, there's so much of it that's still true today. So let's build a rocket ship and head to Mars, everybody. Oh, by the way, congratulations to SpaceX, who actually just pulled that off this week. Well, I'm tired of residing in this crazy place. I'm building a rocket ship and flying to space. Leave it behind as I head for the stars. As soon as I find my way out of this bar. The ozone's burning, my air ain't clean Beer is now cheaper than gasoline Got earthquakes, wildfires, tsunamis and mudslides Here comes an asteroid, we're all gonna die Yeah, we're globally warming and the temperature's rising Got Big Macs, heart attacks and super sizing I got chemically engineered food on my plate I'm getting the hell out before it's too late. Well, I'm fighting to hang on to my sanity in a world that's lost its mind. So I'm building a rocket ship and moving to Mars, leaving it all behind. I would just like to apologize ahead of time for uh, this second verse for a lot of Mark's friends who uh, tune in. I just... Repent for your sins, says the pedophile priest. Jesus forgives you for a nominal fee. We got gunslinging, gang banging, 10 year old kids, and we got 60 year old women with silicone drips. Now there's ground air missiles, now there's eyes in the sky. The wages are low and the price is too high. We got Islamic terrorists, roadside bombs. Internet predators and 12-year-old moms. We got pills to tune out. We got pills to tune in. We got pills to give old dudes a stiffy again. They're locking them up now for smoking weed. But if a glove don't fit, man, they're setting them free. Well, I'm fighting to hang on to my sanity in a world that's lost its mind. My global position and network crashed. My cholesterol's high. My blood sugar low. I'm dying of everything. The doctor said so. Well, my therapist says my situation is grim. I got ECD and OVD and IBM. I got ADD and AOL and MTV. I'm telling you what, everybody, it sucks to be me. 
Cause I thought to hang on to my sanity In a world that's lost its mind So I'm building a rocket ship and moving apart Leaving it all behind Yeah, I'm tired of residing in this crazy place I'm building a rocket ship and flying to space Leave it behind I find my way out of this bar Actually, if I could ever find my way Back in the damn bars With a mask on Six feet away <laughs> Oh, All right You know, have you realized, Mark The funniest part about all this Is apparently You're safe in, in, in a restaurant as long as they don't serve alcohol. But if they serve alcohol, you're only safe up until like 10 o'clock, and then apparently the COVID gets worse at night or something. I don't know how they, they figure this out, but apparently it's really bad at nighttime. Yeah. It's like a ninja. It only comes out at night. That's right. <laughs> well, got another request here, and this one goes out for Shay Johnston. And Shay, thank you for the request, especially because Elsa's here, and she loves this next song. She thinks on the recording on the South of the Border Again album that my voice sounds... Macho. And that's not a word often associated with Mark Mulligan's songs. You know, uh, when I'm down in Mexico, I call myself, instead of Mike Nash, it's Miguel Nacho. Ooh. <laughs> this works better. Well, Mike, you could actually, there's one part of the song you and everybody watching at home can help me out with. This part of the song drives Kelly McGuire crazy. And when I'm on the road, sometimes in the summertime, I'll do like, you know, 12 shows in a row where I call Kelly up every single show. And in Texas, of course, it's a couple hours later, and I leave this on his answering machine, no matter what time it is, and he absolutely can't stand it. He goes, na, 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 na. Mike, do you have him on speed dial? Oh, my God, I love it when this happens. Mike, you are evil. He is dialing 832-264-0609. I thought I had it in here. 832, what is it? I think it's 832 no, I know I have him in here. Wait a minute. Two. We're going to dox him. 832-264. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm just gonna have to we're we're going to get Kelly on the line. Now, here's the thing. You guys have to sing this part extra loud tonight because once Kelly hears everyone singing this, he will not be able to sleep all night. This <laughs> will wake him up at 3 in the morning. And, oh, my God, that makes the song so fun. I hope you guys got okay. that out there, too, and you call him all night long. That'd be great. Mike is dialing him right now. and oh, uh, I probably have to dial. Wait, maybe I don't. So you know your part. Just sing it on the couch, but sing it really loud. No, it just, it's failing because I'm in Mexico. Oh, Hold again. on. We're teaching Mike how to dial in Mexico. 001. Okay. Okay. See, Trop Rockers just have nothing better to do than mess with Kelly McGuire. He's such an easy target. All right, is it ringing? It's ringing. Mike, you got to help me out. Hey, Kelly. Na, 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 na. Ladies and gentlemen, Kelly McGuire can't hear you on your couch. Sing really loud. Na 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 na. Hi Kelly, how you doing, buddy? We miss you down here in Mexico. <laughs> we just put you on our live stream. How you doing? I walked into that bar in Kirkland Junction. The place was full of cowboys as I whipped out my guitar with a bar stool for the stage and fifty bucks in pay. Just a few songs into my very first solo gig. He said, my name's Guy, and I don't like your music. Uh-oh. Would you kindly take that guitar, drink your beer, and hit the road? I said, Guy, I'll tell you what. Name any song you want. And if you stump me, I swear, I'm out the door. Thank God I knew Guy's favorite tune that night probably saved my life if not for rose-colored glasses 
what would have happened? I might have gotten killed that night. But Guy just took his hat off and he stuck it on my head. Slapped me on the back and said, I like this kid. And as I look back now, I just say, wow, what a ride. Are you guys ready? Na, 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 na. Come on, louder than that. Na, 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 na. In the cantina, 60 miles south of the border. Used to be a prison, then a brothel, then a bar. Well, my first career mistake was playing their spring break and wondering, where's my chicken wire? Some punk crawled up on stage and grabbed the microphone so he could scream the F word to all his wasted friends. Well, I kicked his butt off stage and he flew into a rage and a billiard ball came flying at my head. Had I not been sober, I might not have moved over. I'd be dead, an eight ball to the head. But it just grazed my ear and I spilled my beer. That was it. Yeah, but not for him. His buddies blew him off and he couldn't afford the bail. Bet he won't talk about that week he spent in jail. Cause what happens in Mexico? Mike Nash knows how that goes. Oh my. What a ride. I think we woke up Kelly McGuire. Now the years have come and gone and I've been successful at avoiding any type of what they call a real job. And the more that I turn gray, the more I love to play. So thank you guys for listening to my song. From that very first tune in that cowboy saloon, I never knew where the road would lead. From sleeping in cars on beaches and bars, I see a lot of miles between. From Kirkland Junction to the Texas coast, Southern Cal to Florida, then down to Mexico, I seen buses and trains and boats and planes on this ride, this amazing ride. So hand me a guitar, toss Mike a mic, and we'll keep on singing until the day we die. And with my last breath, I'll say no regrets. What a ride. Right, Mike? What a ride. What a ride. What a ride. Been quite a ride. Thanks for the ride. Now you see, right there is where I would usually end the song, but not when Kelly McGuire is still with the listening distance. Na 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 na. Everybody, grand finale. Na 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 na. Shay, thank you for the request. Kelly, we love you. <laughs> Kelly McGuire, I'm meeting back up with you again, not only for Florida shows in October, but also with Sunny Jim for Island Fest, October 1st to 5th. That's going to be a lot of fun. Isla Mujeres, we're taking only 100 of our closest friends. You must be close friend, not just kind of a friend. That's <laughs> well, you can't contract. be too close. you got to stand six feet away from each That's other. That's right. So. But, Mike, what's also kind of cool is the weekend after Isla Mujeres, Tell us what you got going on. Well, so actually, as fate would have it, because of the COVID uh, cancellations and stuff, um, we just went down to Rocky Point, Melissa and I, last week, as Mark mentioned earlier, just to kind of feel things out and see how they're doing. And actually, it turns out they're doing fantastic. They've done a great job of controlling the, the virus and keeping everybody safe. Uh, they just opened the beaches this weekend, so we're expecting things to come back slowly online. 
And so we talked to him, and we said, yeah, we, I, I don't know if you guys keep up with this, but we do this thing called the SOB Festival. Now, that doesn't stand for what you think it does. It stands for the South of the Border Festival. <laughs> or it could be a bunch of SOBs yeah. hanging out. <laughs> so Mark and I have played this together. We, we started the show, we started the festival about four years ago. Yeah. Mark and I have done the last three years together. And it was originally scheduled for the end of April, but now we've, able, we're, we of course, had to cancel it, and we've been able to move it to October 8th through the 11th. So it's the next weekend after Island Fest, and we're going to do it in Rocky Point, Mexico. So if you can make it. Incredible venue, too. Oh, my goodness. Where do you see this hotel? It's a resort, actually. It's beautiful. It really is. And our friends Rick and Chris with uh, Margarita Mermaids, the form, formerly the Satisfied Frog. It's now the Margarita Mermaids. And they've been rebuilding the bar and getting it ready for their grand opening. So they're also going to do their grand opening on the same weekend that okay. we're there. Oh, and good. we've got our friends at Manny's Beach Club, and we're going to play there. So we're just kind of trying to piece together something, you know. Excellent. Uh, I know a lot of the other Chop Rock events and festivals and things have been canceled this year. So we thought this is an opportunity to give people a safe way to come and have fun. That's right. And, and get together. So, well, if you get a chance, check out both events. Uh, Island Fest is the, the first weekend in October. And then uh, Mike, what's that website? Uh, that's, you can find out about that on my website, markmulligan.net. And then Mike Nash has all the info. Well, we'll have all the info very soon. We will. Uh, we're going to be updating that this week for the SOB Festival. And you can go to sobmexico.com uh, toward the end of the week. There's some information up now, but it's got to be updated. But you can find out more about it. And gosh, we hope you'll come down and join us, guys. You're going to fall in love. If you've never been down here, uh, it's the perfect time to come. Everybody, they can definitely use our business down here. Um, we're helping put food on their table right now. Yeah. So it's a beautiful awesome. thing. Good. I saw a request for uh, one of your songs. Elsa? Uh, I wasn't going to drink today. You want uh, to let me, or, let or me pop that one in next. I actually, oh. before we lose the sun, you got it. it's like the perfect right. magic hour right now. Oh, he's about to get romantic romanticos or what? <laughs> if you, can you get a mobile over there and... Can we just kind of show them, give them yeah. a, a little view? I want everybody to get to see sort of what we're looking at off of our back porch right now and how beautiful this Backstage is. Backstage here is pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it really is. Um, Pablo, please. There's the Tetakawi. That's kind of our, our landmark. When you see that in front of you, you know you're only about 10 minutes from an awesome time. And uh, all my San Carlos friends who are out there watching tonight, I know you're missing it here. But you're going to be back here real soon. We're holding down the fort for you. There's Honeymoon Island out there. And I think Mike and Melissa might go for a kayak ride out there in the next couple of days. Over where you're looking at right now, that's my neighborhood. That's, that's called Miramar. Lives. That's only about 15, 20 minutes from San Carlos. And uh, it's really cool, too. There's so many cool places to check out down here. And uh, Mike so has beautiful. really made, Mike and Melissa have made San Carlos a part of their tour. Uh, part of, part of our hearts. For the last few years now. A part of our hearts, honestly. It's just so wonderful down here. We love the people. The, the, the Mexican nationals and the Americans that live down here, the expatriated Americans, the Canadians down here. Uh, it's just such a beautiful place full of beautiful people, and we're so blessed to be a part of it. Yep, that's right. So I wanted to give you guys an idea of where we're at and what we're looking at because, honestly, to me, I know we all love the Keys, and we love going to the Florida Keys, but, man, being down here, it's like what the Keys used to be years ago before it started getting all the corporate stuff involved. And there used to be a lot of Mexicans in the Keys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, what he said. Now it's Cuban. <laughs> so Aaron, my buddy Aaron Schurz, i got to get you guys together. We've got to get Aaron down here. He, he and uh, his wife and kids would love this place. Oh, yeah. And he said, you guys would be best buddies. You get along so well. Sure. We got together and wrote this next song back in December. And at the time, it had one meaning to us, but it's kind of strange how because of all the COVID stuff and, and the quarantines and the way life has changed, how it's taken on a completely different meaning for us now. Um, I'll let you guys be the judge of that. It's a brand new one going on the new album called Low Key. Because sometimes you go down to the Keys and you want to just be low key, right? Great song. Sometimes you come down to Mexico to be low key. I'll let the beach be the intro to this one. Some are running from a heartbreak. Some are running from a county judge. 
Some are running from themselves, some are running just because. Met a few bar stool poets, some has beens and yet to be. Some are just looking for a good time. We all got our reasons to be keeping in low key. At the end of the road, where the sunshine meets the sea. Right now is when I am, and this is where I need to be keeping it low. Tell you how I got here. Bet you could do the same. Man, that ain't worth a cold beer. It would take us to explain. So let's just raise our glass up to this moment that we're in, and thank our lucky stars we're at this bar drinking with friends, keeping it low. At the end of the road, where the sunshine meets the sea. Right now is when we are, and this is where we need to be. Keeping it low key. If you're hiding from something, ain't running from nothing, or trying to start again, if you find your way down here, you'll fit right in. Keeping it low key. At the end of the road, where the sunshine meets the sea. Right now is when I. This is where I choose to be, keeping it low, low key. Some are running from a heartbreak. Some are running from a county judge. Some are running from themselves. Some are running just because. Nice. What? Great song. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. I remember when you debuted that song in Kino Bay. You yeah. had just written that song with yeah. Aaron, and that is a great, great song. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. Yeah, we're, nice we're job. really proud of that one. Actually, uh, Aaron has the connections. He he pitched it to Kenny Chesney, but Kenny had just cut his new album, so okay. we're hoping to maybe get in on the next one. I could totally see Kenny. Yeah. Cutting something like that. Oh, big time. And I like me some of that mailbox money like Tom Shepard and Aaron Schurz get. You know. Aaron Schurz, <laughs> if you're out there watching us tonight, we sure love to get you and your family down here. I bet our kids would hit it off. And it sounds, oh, from man. what Mike tells me about you, that we would hit it off pretty yeah, well, too. You guys would be best friends. I promise so, you. Let's it's get Aaron deal. down here. Um, I'll tell you what. we got time for just two more songs. Sounds Mike, good. what a great time tonight. Um, my fans who are out there watching, if you have not seen Mike before, and you're watching him for the first time, maybe on my page. Um, I'll tell you an album I really recommend that you pick up is Mike Nash's Stay Thirsty. It, um, you know, Mike has got some great albums, but I, I honestly, I think your latest one Thank is my favorite much, one. I it is that. one of those albums that you're never going to hit skip on. You're going to listen from song one to song 10. And that's one of the things I first emailed Mike about when I, when I got it. I said, there's not a song on this thing that doesn't just kick butt. If you're a Trap Rock fan, that's one of the must-have albums that you got to get. It's called Stay Thirsty. Do me a favor and go on Mike's Facebook page or go on his website. And uh, make sure that you give him a like on his Facebook page so that you can keep in touch with him and see his show that he does periodically. Every week yep. he's doing yep. something online. Definitely. If you're watching on Mike Nash's feed, which is a separate feed tonight, I hope that you'll do the same thing with me. I hope you'll jump on my page. Give me a like because I'd love to sing for you on Monday nights. Yep. And maybe I think that of the Mike Nash fans out there, knowing your taste of my CDs, if you're going to get one, I think Same Beer, Different Can yeah, would probably be the one that your fans definitely. would like the they most. They would dig that one. 
Yep. So hopefully, you know, we so can. For, for two guys who are so, like, opposite in so many ways, we are so much alike in so many ways, and that's why I love playing shows with, with this guy right here. It's just so much fun. You know, we just have a great time. We get a good vibe going. And, uh, my, one of my favorite shows of the whole year is when we get to come down in January and we play right down here That's at right. La, La Palapa Griega. That's right. right? Your right. accent is getting, getting better. better with this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the alcohol helps, trust me. I'll tell you what. How about if we do this? Mike got a request for a song. So how about, uh, do you know the song? I want to do Rental. I think it was from Jeff and Michelle, our house concert host. Yes. Yeah, I believe it was. Yeah. So Mike's going to do a song, and this one was actually requested by the folks who host that house concert that Mike plays in That's January. Right. Right. Jeff and Michelle Glettany are probably up in California watching us right now, but their home is right down the beach here, and we've done some great shows there. They wanted to hear this next song, Mike, and yeah. then, I'll, then I'll finish us up. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. And then, uh, so, yeah, for Jeff and Michelle, uh, sorry you guys can't be here, and sorry we're not going to make it to California for you this year, but thanks for tuning in and being a part of this. And for everybody else, I hope you enjoyed something different on my side of things. And for Mark's th side of things, too, this has been amazing, guys. Uh, like I said, we can't thank you enough for tuning in every single week and checking us out and following us and supporting us. It just means the world. So, I wasn't going to drink today, but <laughs> that's what I always say. Wasn't gonna drink today, but that's what I always say. I know I need to slow down at any day above ground. That's a reason to celebrate. Lord knows once I begin, a one bear was turning a ten. I shouldn't have, but I did it anyway. But I wasn't gonna drink today. And the truck just a mine of my own. I never should have picked up that phone. I was headed straight home after work. The boys called, said, come on, Mark, what a one hurt. I wasn't going to drink today, but that's what I always say. I know I need to slow down, but any day above ground, that's a reason to celebrate. Lord knows once I begin, a one bear will turn in a ten. Shouldn't have, but I did it anyway. But I wasn't gonna drink till oh, maybe I'll just have one. Yeah, I know I only drink socially, but I got a lot of friends, you see. And they're drinking folks just like me. Seven days of that will make one pretty damn week, yeah. let me tell you. I wasn't going to drink today, but that's what I always say. I know I need to slow down, but any day above ground, well, that's a reason to celebrate. Lord knows once I begin, one beer will turn into ten. Shouldn't have, but I did it anyway. I wasn't going to drink today, yeah, sure not what I did in any way, but I wasn't going to drink today, oh yeah. Me either. Sure you are, Mark, whatever. <laughs> I'll believe that when I see you. Mike Nash, everybody. <laughs> hey, Thank you I guys hope so you'll much. send Mike a comment tonight if you're watching this show and let him know what you think about it. His show and make sure to tune in this week when he does one on his Facebook channel. And for my folks, tune in and uh, follow Mark and check him out. And, and if you haven't seen Mark, most of my people know you, actually. Uh, most of my folks are your folks. But yeah. for those of, uh, of you out there who aren't, and if you've enjoyed Mark's show tonight, check him out. Mark Mulligan on Facebook, markmulligan.com. Yeah. Markmulligan.net. Dot net. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, Mike, uh, I know that you're enjoying being back out in person singing for people again, which is I, great. I've been off the road now since March the 10th, but I'm looking forward to getting back out to San Diego nice. and doing a show out there at Kevin and Tish's place Some very of my soon. my favorite people on Open the planet. the public. It's going to be uh, on my website, markmulligan.net. I've got a, a show in Arizona coming up. Um, and among some other stuff. So if you get a chance, if, uh, if you're in the Southwest or out on the coast there, I hope you'll join me. For Hell, that. if you're in Virginia, fly out for it. It's worth <laughs> it, trust me. Um, 
Kevin but and Tish have one of the most beautiful places in all of America. It's gorgeous there. They do. Well, I know that Mike feels the same way about everybody who hosts us for a house concert, everybody who attends. We sing for a special group of people. And this song really sums up all of you guys. It's off my Same Beer, Different Can album. And the title sums it up because it's just called Thank You. Yeah. Thank you, Mike, for being here. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you to uh, our studio audience. And thank you to Pablo and Anais ah. for doing the video tonight. Excellent job, And guys. thank you to Seaside Lord Realty. Lord Seaside Realty for making the show possible with this beautiful stage, this awesome backdop, and the condo they are giving to Michael oh and Melissa for the next few days. So, <laughs> All right. I was reading about this rock star griping about his fans how he's sick and tired of signing autographs how people asking for pictures is such a total pain i thought of you guys and i raised my glass because i've sung in your backyard and had you jump start my car as the circus show moves from town to town i've slept on your couches and helped you Polish off your rum And through the years One thing I found We keep it real Man, that's our deal And it's been that way Ever since the start You share so much of you And I try to do the same Every time I pick up this guitar Now writing songs That's what I do Wrote this one to say thank you, thank you for putting up with me, thank you, cause who knows where I'd be, probably unemployed or in jail, so thank you. Now you've been with me through good times. Shared a lot of laughs Then you stuck with me when things got real bad You even showed up on my doorstep With home-cooked meals As I learned how to be a single dad Then you came along When God came along And brought a brand new love into my life And we partied on this beach As one big family on the day that Elsa became my wife. So that superstar might think he's pretty cool, but me, I simply say thank you. Thank you. Time and time again, thank you. Cause he may have fans, but we got friends. Some old, some brand new. Thank you. show is over, you help me load my gear, then I buckle up and head on down the road, exactly where it's going to lead, it's anybody's guess, want to say one thing before we go, thank you, I'm grateful as can be, thank you, for letting us two boys up here live our dreams, if there's nothing else on earth we'd rather do. Thank you, time and time again, thank you, cause you'll always be our friend, some old, some brand new, thank you, we mean that. And this little song's the least that I can do to thank you. 
Mike Nash, thank you. Thank you for guys coming for all the way in. down to Mexico and being a part of tonight's show. So much fun. It wasn't that hard to talk me into it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Seaside Realty. All of you guys who tuned in tonight, our studio audience, God bless you guys. Make sure to hop on to Mike Nash's Facebook page. Give him a like. Do the same on mine. And I look forward to seeing you again with this beautiful backdrop behind me next Monday. And thank you, thank guys. you for your contributions. Yeah. <laughs> Give me five. <laughs> we almost died doing that. Thank you, guys. Awesome.